Tap the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss out on unique stories from 101 India. The idea of romance to me is a very fulfilling experience. You know, you could be in love with a bike, you could be in love with a woman, you could be in love with a place as long as it does something for your soul and eggs you on then you know you you're a very lucky very, a very fortunate person to be in love with whatever it is you're in love with. I am Vijay Singh. I run Rajputana Custom Motorcycles. This is a workshop we established about 7 years back and we build and restore old motorcycles. I started building bikes because uh, I wanted a bike for myself in 2010 and there was nothing really exciting in the market at that point. So I went ahead and asked Royal Enfield for an engine and we went about building a bike around that engine. It took us about 4 months to do. But the first time we saw it ready, that was the time I knew that bike building was something that, you know, I really enjoyed doing. It was a very new idea to start with back in 2009 I had just come back from university uh, having completed a degree in communication and journalism here I was sitting in front of the whole family telling them that I wanted to you know build bikes so I got a lot of like blank stares not knowing what I was talking about I didn't know either and it took me 2 years to figure it out but they've been very supportive since and they're very appreciative of what I do My first motorcycle was a four-geared BSA. It was a 50cc Falcon. Now this was a bike that my dad prepared for me. I think it's good that he's been able to uh, get involved in a thing which he likes doing, and he's doing it well. It's important that you uh, get into a line of work which you don't see as work. Fundamentally speaking we named the shop Rajputana Customs because our bikes represent my taste and that being where I am from Rajasthan having been born here and bred here uh, we find inspiration from almost anything uh, whether it's the forts and palaces that you visit or the interior of a house miniature artwork they all symbolize this deep seated sobriety and it really you know it's it, it brings out the beauty of our machines it brings out the beauty of people uh the bike that is used as a donor machine determines what kind of project we do but at the end of the day you have to cater to the client's needs and to his taste and you got to detail it according to him so we start with a reference image and we go working from there sometimes the whole bike has to be customized sometimes only half of it has to be done So all our projects are different they are varying in complexity we do motocross bikes choppers bobbers cafe racers you name it I have a team of about 18 guys the one thing that we all share in common is a love for motorcycles and a strive to get better at what we do whether it's riding a bike or customizing one restoring one building one from scratch and we just cultivating our being essentially around motorcycles The name Jordar essentially means that it's an outstanding machine, that it's uh, definitely extraordinary, and that's how we built that bike from scratch, and it's pretty spectacular to look at. So we called it Jordar. From ideation to inception, Jordar took us about eight months to build. and uh test paint a poster just the works it took us about 6 months to finish completely and 2 months uh 2 months to paint detail and test ride for starters jordar was a bike built from scratch like i said it was a harley 883 engine and we went about building the whole frame from scratch did of a uh, unique uh, linkage suspension for the front and it also has these uh small details that are very unique and independent to this motorcycle itself for example we have damascus levers and other small parts made in damascus now damascus steel is two types of steel which are heated and uh, beaten together so we went about making our levers and our air filter mounts and just a few other covers for the for our nuts and bolts made in damascus with more kofthkari done on them for detailing so we've got damascus parts with kofthkari silver inlay uh upholstery work nice metallic paint job on this stretched out bike so 
simple paint jobs, basic detailing and good stance and proportions. You know, when it all comes together, it really adds to the whole picture and, you know, I'd, I'm, I'm very happy with that bike. Uh, one thing is for sure, riding Jordar being a hard tail, if you have bumpy roads, it's going to give you a hard ride. But other than that, if you've got a nice, slick, smooth highway, uh, it really feels like a long, stretched out hot rod almost, you know, like it has very gnarly, big boss, bad guy kind of feel. And it's just a really badass bike to ride, so it's super fun. Bikes can really move you, bikes can, you know, if you push them hard enough, it's almost like jamming a guitar or doing something which thrills you and, you know, uh, totally takes over your senses. Motorcycling to me is so much more than just a macho aspect. I mean, the macho-ness I guess comes from self-confidence which you derive from riding that machine because she gives you that freedom, because she puts you in touch with yourself that when you get off a bike, you get off confident. Nowadays, a lot of the people are trying to uh, buy into a culture. That I feel isn't the real true nature of being a biker. A biker is uh, like individualist. He would rather be on his own than be a part of a group. That now unfortunately you have a large contingent of chaps who call themselves uh, bikers. But I think they aren't in the truest sense. Vijay Singh's passion for biking is very infectious. It's got me wanting my very own custom-built motorcycle. I'm thinking more on the lines of a badass scrambler. Now, till I figure out how I'm going to make the money for that motorcycle, you can tell us what you thought of Magnificent Motorcycle Men and Vijay Singh's amazingly custom-built motorcycle, the Jordar HD883, by hitting like and giving us a comment below. And if you like Magnificent Motorcycle Men and want to watch more such videos on 101india.com, you can do so right here. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And remember, protection is necessary, wear a helmet and always ride safe.